Dangerous Bob is such a fun guy. I, I mean, the Hilarious. guy's name is Dangerous Bob for those listening. Mm -hmm. You know, like like uh, Odd Fella missing a finger or two. Um, yeah. uh, I, Odd Fella, real, real fun. Every time I see him, it's just like, oh, there he is. That's so cool. unsuspecting too. Like I think I met him with you in Shot Show, like I want to say eight or nine years ago, or something. Probably something like yeah. that. I, I met him like, out in Tennessee. Like who's this with Ira? Yeah, with Ira. Yeah, yeah. Like, he had brought, he brought me a uh, he had brought me a flamethrower, and uh, Scott, you know, my cousin Scott, that would cameraman for me. Uh, he and I are sitting over there, like fixing our camera, making it right. And D Dangerous Bob's over there, like getting the flamethrower dialed in, and it's it's kind of finicky because it's a Vietnam era flamethrower, and he's shooting diesel out of it, and he is just, and it's a very hot, humid day, like. 95 degrees like fucking 90 percent humidity it's 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 awful to be outside and i look and he's enveloped in a cloud of diesel mist i mean enveloped in it and he's trying to get the igniter to go off he's click 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 <laughs> and, and he's just and he's continuously spraying this 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 fog of diesel and i'm like scott 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 film that film that this motherfucker's <laughs> about to die on us watch this shit watch this shit and like, we're, there's no way to put him out. He goes, <laughs> no way, I mean, there's a lake over there, but by the time he gets to that, I mean, he's toast. I, I thought he was going to die that day. There's um, a lake over there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Forget the Tiger King. Like, I, I feel like that there's so many niche communities in the world of like everything. Like, you know, like you say, yeah, with every community has these... its own thing. Um, and a lot of those guys are secretive and, and like, especially with firearm stuff, because they don't want their shit to get stolen because it happens so mm -hmm. much. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, a lot of those guys that I've met ha would, would be, you know, they want to show me what they've got. And it was shocking. So many yeah. times I've been shocked at the things that people would have, um, up in Ohio, there's a gentleman with, yeah, it's just, just shocking things, shocking things. Shocking just, things. So what are you, the yeah, National I mean, Guard? Like missile silos. Yeah. Like a lot of those dudes have those, those decommissioned missile silos that just go up for auction, which is funny because like in the last year I was looking at some of them out in Arizona and Nevada and they weren't that expensive. <laughs> and like in the last two months, they've all sold over market price, like, or, or list price, rephrase that. Um, <coughs> Because there was a bunch of like LA Times articles, oh, you can own a, a missile silo or whatever in like October of last year. And it was like, oh, okay, that's actually a couple hundred thousand dollars. That's, I mean, it's not that expensive in the grand scheme of things for yeah. something that's already like built out with concrete and everything going out there and retrofitting some stuff with some amenities and, and everything. Now it's like, good luck getting those for, you know, under sub million or two. Yeah, you got a fallout shelter ready made by the US government. Yeah. It's legit. Richard, you were looking at buying a missile silo for what purpose? No, no. I was just look. I like, look, dude, I like looking at stuff. I like looking at tiny houses. Like I, I, I never actually pull the trigger on it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're just like imagining your life with a yeah. Silo yeah. Were you yeah. thinking of converting house. a missile silo into an exotic home? For tigers i, I don't know no, these are like, fallout shelters i don't know like the thing is is like we there's so like I, you're trying to look at different i like the airbnb model of uh adventure vacation lodging right where it's like you know people put tiny houses on exotic ranches in texas or whatever that is right mm -hmm. or go stay at this missile silo for the you know, the week and it's like a, you know, like a bunker or something that like was that. Wild I, hair. I can't judge too much. Yeah. I, when yeah. I lived in my last house and we were buying a new one, I was like, how much is a castle? <laughs> <laughs> I think well, I turned I, you on to the castles. Did maybe. you? You I, may I, have. You may have. Yeah. I was like, I dude. Would, I've always wanted a moat. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Game of Thrones was big. Right. Yeah. Like, like stateside or or overseas? Stateside, I've, right? I've, I've yeah. seen those too. Yeah, yeah. There's Buying some an ancient around. North Carolina castle. I was like, yes. you know, like the cheapest castle. I could swing it. I could, yes. swing, <laughs> it. I could swing the cheapest castle until some other guy moves into the bigger, nicer castle, and you're just sitting there in your parapet, looking out your. <laughs> 
shaking with anger. <laughs> Lord Farquaad, his, his forces are massing, my lord. <laughs> I mean, I don't know about these multi-million dollar Colin, send facilities. A raven. <laughs> it's like legit ghost towns or places where people have been murdered that like you can't give away. Yeah. Because the, the people give that away to me. Go. I'm not afraid of ghosts and shit. That well, shit's all that's what I was that. saying. Kyle would definitely be down to stay there. He like I would be like, hey, bro, come stay at my Airbnb. He'd be like, yeah, I'm great. Let's go. Yeah. The ghost towns are interesting too. Every so often, like, like I own this town. I'm also the mayor. I own all yeah. the places, and it's like oh. Detroit for three hundred dollars. <laughs> that would be less than a month's sick. pay at the Tiger King Ranch. The thing you want to do with yeah. Detroit, <laughs> they don't want you to do. Like they, they, I think it's hard to buy a place. Or at least it was. That you didn't intend to like live in and make a thing out of, you know. If you just mm. wanted to rip it down and wait for real estate to turn around, they were against that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they, do, they uh, hold on to it. Let so. me do our last ad, and then I want to show you the how the Indian police are fighting the coronavirus. Oh, Can't right. Me. 